In this video, we're going to replace the front grille on this 2013 Hyundai Elantra. You will need to remove your front bumper. Across the front here, we're going to take out these clips so we can pull the panel forward a little bit. They're Phillips head. You don't want to press down while you're doing these. Just let the tool do the work and pull upwards a little. It'll allow them to back out. If you put pressure on there, nothing's going to happen. If you go lightly, they'll back out. All right, now underneath our bumper, we have a couple of Phillips clips. We're going to go ahead and remove those now. We're just going to use a Phillips bit. You just let it spin and don't push up and they'll come out. So this is attached to your fender liner. You can move that back just a little bit right here. Now straight up inside your fender, you'll find one more Phillips screw. Be one on driver and passenger. All right, so now that you have your screws removed from the inside of your fender, and your clips across the bottom, you can go ahead and grab the side of your bumper here. And we're just going to pull straight out. Just like that. Now, what you can do, grab your bumper from the center here and the grill area and pull straight forward. What we're going to do is sit this right back in here and do the same on the other side and then we'll just take the bumper straight off. All right, so you have some clips here to clip into your fender. Also, what you had here are some clips on the bumper to clip in underneath the headlight. You'll have that on both sides. Once you remove these two sets of clips, should be able to walk the bumper straight forward and off. We'll do that now. If you're doing this alone, you're going to want to grab the bumper right in the middle, slowly pull it off the car. Once you get a little bit of room here, you want to grab it like this and walk it off the vehicle. If you have a second set of hands, you can both grab a side. In this case, we're just going to take it right off the car. Now we do have some harnesses that we have to deal with. Fog light harnesses. If you can get to them before you take the bumper off, that's ideal. If not, you can rotate your bumper up like this. All right, so grab your clips. Unplug your lights. And now you can take your bumper and set it aside. All right, so we're going to remove these two clips here. You got one on each side. We're going to use a panel tool. With those two removed, you can lift your foam straight out. All right, so we have four Phillips screws around the perimeter. We're going to remove now. So our vehicle has the little previous damage. Our Phillips screw was into a broken tab. 
All right, with those four Phillips screws removed, now you have some clips. Just using a panel tool. All right, so these inner tabs here need to be pried away from the grill. So with a hook tool, pry them back, keeping upward pressure as you work down the grill. installation of your new grill. Easiest thing to do is line up your four screws. That'll get you somewhere close. And line up your tabs, your locking tabs. And I like to just start in the middle and push my way out. And just push down. So now we can reinstall our Phillips screws. And again, this one was broken. We have one last screw on the side here. We can reinstall our foam. Push these back on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put our bumper back on. First thing you want to do is center the bumper on the car. Get your center piece under your hood latch and get your two side pieces here up over the tabs. Just get your center in place. And what you want to do is take a look at your headlights. Make sure your bumper is underneath the light but on top and inside of the brackets that it snaps into, both left and right. Once you've got that in place, right underneath your headlight, go ahead and Push in, clip it into the clip, do that both sides. And then you can go to the fenders and push these into the fender clips on both sides. All right, so across the top, we're going to reinstall our push clips. Now we can move on to the rest of the bumper. All right, so we're gonna plug in our fog lights and grab our plug. You'll notice there's a slot on one side and not the other. They only plug in one way. If you look at your fog light plug, see where that slot is, just line them up, push in. All right, so we're gonna attach our 
fender splash shield to the bumper. I'm going to put this clip inside the bumper and put our plastic push clips in. One across the front here on this splash shield. Another one here. And two more on this fender liner. All right, now to finish your bumper, you get two screws, one in each fender well here. These are Phillips head screws. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.